As expected, the LV County Championship match between Surrey and Lancashire at the Keir Oval ended in a draw, neither side having the opportunity to push for a win on the last day, although Rory Burns did have time to make it to 100. Lancashire began the final morning on 342 for 8, 106 runs behind, and the only way we could get a positive result was if there was an overnight declaration and some deals done between the two captains. There wasn't, which allowed Kyle Jarvis to add to his overnight score of 13. He and Tom Bailey had their ninth wicket partnership past the 50 mark, and it was still on the rise on a pitch which hadn't worsened throughout a high-scoring and rain-ruined match. This was, of course, still only the second innings of the game. The partnership between these two moved up to 65. Lancashire still looking for bonus points. The total read 377 for 9 when Bailey, having just equalled his career best score of 34, was stumped by Ben Folkes of Gareth Batty as Surrey ensured maximum bonus points for themselves. Lancashire had missed out on one bowling point and now needed 23 more runs from their last pair to take the maximum with the bat. With Simon Kerrigan having some fun with these two successive sixes off Zafar and Sari, the 400 was easily reached in time, and that just about ended any reason for keeping on playing, except for personal pride and statistics. Jarvis was three runs short of a maiden first-class 50 when he threw his bat at Stuart Meeker to give Folks his fifth dismissal of the innings behind the stumps, this on his Surrey debut. Jarvis was gone for 47, Kerrigan left on 34. Lancashire were all out for 429 to trail on first innings by only 19 runs and that meant that the rest of the day just gave all concerned a bit of outside practice. At least we had some decent weather at last and with the sun on his back, Burns was able to make a score and a good one at that. Under absolutely no pressure whatsoever, the left-hander scored freely in partnership with Ansari, who didn't. Burns dominating an opening stand which was to go on for the rest of the day. This single off Kerrigan took Burns to the 50 mark for the third time this summer, this one coming off 75 balls with 8 fours. While well, the game was going nowhere, at least there was a chance for the batsman to achieve some personal milestones, and Burns was certainly doing that. His partner Ansari, who's not scored as many runs as he would have liked from the top of the order this summer, didn't play many shots in anger, this one of his 6 fours in his 166 ball stay. Burns went to the last break of the match, needing just 20 more runs for the seventh first-class hundred of his career. Before he got there, Ansari was raising his bat on reaching a half-century. That shot brought him his fifth boundary from the 145 balls he'd thus far used up. They say that there is nothing like time in the middle, and these two batsmen were having plenty of that. The only thing left before the captain shook hands on the draw was Burns' century, which duly arrived off his 166th delivery. It was like a stroll in the park, not even the Lancashire spinners getting any kind of help from this fourth day pitch. Rory, take a bow. Soon afterwards, it was over, Surrey ending on 186 without loss, as Lancashire never had even a sniff of a wicket in 61 overs of trying. The draw sees both teams stay in the top two of the second division. Surrey took 13 points to Lancashire's 12, and that means there is a 31-point difference between these two, Next up, Surrey head to Grace Road on Sunday, while Lancashire go to Bristol to meet Gloucestershire, a side which has already beaten the leaders.